Hi, it's Anthony again, and I'm just continuing my series of videos um, about my opinion about the current gen console uh, a race, I guess. Um, this is for my friend Brenda from Facebook, who's thinking about getting an Xbox 360 for her family. I just wanted to present the Wii um, in this video just as an alternative to the Xbox 360. Um, this is my Wii right here. Uh, it's playing Smash Brothers. Uh, at this moment, and um, a little information about it: it's, it's price dropped to 199.99. I got mine when it first came out; it was uh, 249.99, and they finally did a price drop to stay competitive with the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. You get uh, a Wii mote, and you get the nunchuck controller that attaches to the bottom of it. Um, you get Wii Sports, you get the audio-video hookups, you get the power supply, the whole shebang. And um, the pros about the Wii, it's in first place, obviously. It's beating up the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. It's, you know, it's the current uh, leader of the pack. Uh, other than that, it's Wi-Fi compatible right out of the box. You know, you don't need that $100 adapter I was talking about for my, uh, for my Xbox 360. Um, it's right out of the box. You can search for your signal and you're on the internet and playing against people from all over the world. It also doesn't require a service like Xbox Live. Uh, you don't need to pay for anything like that. Nintendo has its own service. Although it's not as good as Xbox Live, at least it's free. Uh, the Wii is a family-friendly console. Because of the new technology they used with these new controllers, it's motion, uh, motion controlled. You move it around and for people who don't normally play video games, it makes it easy. And the games that they make are, are pretty much multiplayer games that people can enjoy of all ages. And so, like, you could gather around the Wii with your friends and family and play a lot of games that you probably couldn't play on the 360 because the 360 is really hardcore. In fact, my brother has a Wii, and, like, when I go over to his place, like, I play with my nieces and nephews, and we have a pretty good time. Um... Other than that, let's see, um, the graphics are a con. They're, they're pretty much last-gen graphics. Um, they're kind of GameCube-ish, but uh, it's, a, it's an upgrade to the GameCube. Um, it's not going to give you 360-type graphics. It's, it's going to be okay, but it's, it's, I mean, the, it's cheaper to make a GameCube, I mean, cheaper to make a Wii than it is a uh, Xbox 360. Um, but what you will get are just crazy games for the Wii that you can't play on other home consoles. Like this game called Samba de Amigo, it's like a this maraca game that you, you, you shake the Wii motes with. And this game called uh, House of the Dead Overkill, it's like with zombies coming at you and you use the Wii mode as a gun are, of course, Mario Kart, which is, has great online play, and, like, weird things like My Word Coach. You'd think, like, a word game would be boring, but it's great on the way, trust me. And stuff like this I haven't opened yet, but it's called Go Play Lumberjacks. I guess you're, like, supposed to be a lumberjack, and you can play all these mini games. And this other game called Science Papa, I, I just got this, too. It's, I don't know really what it's about, but, but I got it. And... These type of games you won't find on 360. You know, 360 has a lot of serious type stuff, and um, the Wii is more lighthearted. Uh, I also wanted to show you something else about the Wii. If um, if you go to the main menu of the Wii, I can show you uh, something something about the Wii that's really great, at least for me. Um, the Wii actually is a, a whole bunch of retro consoles rolled into one. Look, look at all these games. These are all old games that I used to play on like Nintendo and Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo and Turbo Graphics and Neo Geo. I mean, I downloaded all these games and I kept them on an SD card, and it's all here on my Wii. I mean, that is incredible. That is just incredible. That It's like a whole bunch of retro consoles rolled into one. A couple of the bad things, uh, besides the graphics, there aren't that many hardcore games. Uh, there's a couple, like that House of the Dead Overkill game I showed you, 
And the sports games aren't going to look as good as they do on the 360. They'll be okay. I mean, EA, Electronic Arts, still makes Madden for it. You'll get your football. It might look a little worse, but it's still playable. And there are a lot of bad games on the Wii that you kind of have to sift through to find the good ones. But you'll find a lot that uh, are suitable for your family and are a lot of fun. So consider the Wii. Um, I know a lot of people kind of downplay the Wii, saying it's kind of like a baby console. But don't believe the haters. It's, I mean, it's a great console. I play it a lot. I think the Wii is great for families. Um, that's all I really have to say. I uh, hope you make a great decision. I'll talk about the PlayStation 3 on my next video.